Hey guys, in this video, we are going to be learning how to find the slope of a line from a graph. So slope is also known as the rate of change. It's also the steepness of a line. Slope is denoted by the letter M. So you're going to see us use the letter M in a lot of our examples. All right, slope or rate of change is a ratio of two values. It is a ratio of the rise, which is the movement up and down between two points on a line, and the run. And it's a ratio, so we're dividing those two numbers. The run will be your movement left and right. So the rise, again, that is your vertical change. The vertical change divided by the horizontal change, or the change in Y divided by the change in X. And then we have these little triangles representing the change symbol, change in Y divided by change in X. Okay, so these are some examples of finding the slope from a graph. We're going to use rise over run or change in y divided by change in x. So we've got to find two good points on the graph. So I've highlighted some good points here. So let's first look at, let's set up our fraction. And remember, the fraction is going to have the rise divided by the run. The rise divided by the run. So between these two green points, the rise value is 1, 2, 3, 4. The rise is 4, so my numerator is going to be 4. The run is 2, 1, 2. Okay, this last thing we want to look at is the direction of the line. Is it rising or falling from left to right? This line is rising from left to right, so my slope is going to be positive 2. So our rise over run or our slope value for the first graph is going to be positive two. Let's look at the next example. Our line is rising from left to right, so we know our slope is going to be positive. Let's go ahead and set up our fraction. Remember, the, try to find the rise first. So the rise is gonna be one, two, three. And I stop here because this line is in line with the other point on my graph that I'm trying to find the rate of change between. So the rise is 1, 2, 3, and the run is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the rise over run, or the rate of change, or the slope is 3 fifths. Let's go to our next example. Number 3 is falling from left to right. So between the two points, the rate of change, or the slope, is going to be negative. I'm going to go ahead and set up my rise over run ratio. I'm going to count the rise, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The run is 1, 2, 3, 4. So the slope or the rate of change is going to be negative 5 fourths, negative 5 over 4. We've got a couple more examples here to look at. I'm going to highlight my points here so you can see them. All right, so my, this, is, this line is falling from left to right, so my slope is going to be negative, and I'm going to set up my fraction bar. My rise is 2. That's going to be my numerator of the ratio. The run is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, negative 2, 8. So we can simplify that fraction. That's going to be negative 1 fourth when we simplify. That would be our slope. And the last example, it's increasing. It's rising from left to right. So our slope is going to be a positive. You don't really have to put the plus sign there. That's just to remind you the sign. All right, let's look at our two points. The rise is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So my numerator is 6. My denominator is the run is 2. So 6 over 2, which means my slope or my rate of change would be 3. I hope these were helpful examples for you.